everybody, this is Kay the Reader and welcome to my new series, The Featured Five. This is where I'll randomly select five books off of my bookshelf so that you can get an idea of the types of books that I like to read. Okay, and here is the first one. The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison. Now this book is about a young African American girl named Pecola Breedlove and she dreams of having blue eyes because she thinks having blue eyes will make her loved and accepted and beautiful. But then there's a tragedy that happens in her life in 1941 that changes everything. Again, that is The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison. Next we have The Living is Easy by Dorothy West. And this is a very good book. I would say that it is a classic. It is about a woman named Cleo who moves from the South to Boston to become part of the upper echelon. You know, she marries this man known as the Black Banana King. And from the outside looking in, it seems like Cleo's life is easy, that the living is easy. But the truth of the matter is Cleo's life is a mess. And she is a master manipulator. She manipulates everybody she comes into contact with. I mean everybody. Her husband, her sisters, their husbands, friends, neighbors. It doesn't matter. Nobody is exempt. The living is easy. Dorothy West. Next we have Color Me Butterfly by L.Y. Marlowe. And this book is based on a true story about four generations of women in one family who endure abuse at the hands of the men in their lives, whether it's emotional, physical, or mental, or all three. But even though the story is tragic, it's also full of love and hope and faith. So that's Color Me Butterfly, L.Y. Marlowe. Next is Shanghai Girls by Lisa C. And I really like this book. This book is about two sisters, Pearl and May, who are growing up in 1930s Shanghai. They're beautiful, they're models, they're modern and popular. Their lives seem to be going so well. And then they find out that their father has sold them to be brides to help pay off a debt. But little does anyone know when they immigrate from America, I mean, excuse me, from Shanghai to America, that they're carrying a big secret with them. So that's Shanghai Girls by Lisa C. And finally we have Big Girls Don't Cry by Connie Briscoe. And this book is about a young woman named Naomi who is growing up in the 1960s. And she worries about the same things that most teenagers worry about. But also race relations play a big part of this book. Now the book isn't just about race, but it's also about... Um, coming into your own as a woman is about strength and determination. So that's Big Girls Don't Cry, Connie Briscoe. Well, that's it. Can you believe it? The featured five. And next time I will highlight five more books for you. Really quick review, just so that you can get an idea of the types of books that I like to read. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can keep up with my book hauls and my book reviews. Thank you. You could have been doing anything else, but you decided to spend a few minutes with me. Keep reading.